Hey guys, my name is Sergey Ganesian and I'm a community manager at Frogwares and today we want to answer a few questions about the Sinking City that you guys submitted on social media. Alright, so the first question is, Winterblood is asking, is it level based or open world? Is this more of an action game or more adventure slash detective game? What playtime do you aim for? Alright, so The Sinking City is a third-person open-world game which takes place in the 1920s United States and it is heavily inspired by Howard Phillips Lovecraft. So yes, we do have a city, Aukman, that you can explore at your will. In terms of gameplay, it is more of a detective game, so you will be solving crimes and unveiling numerous dark secrets and mysteries of Aukman and its people. Uh, you know, investigating crime scenes, talking to witnesses, uh, tracking down killers, uh, all that in a supernatural and often hostile environment. But The Sinking City also has, at the same time, a proper combat system. So we have guns, we have like weapons, we have traps, we have complementary skills for you to uh, unlock. And of course we have monsters that will haunt you all over the city. Uh, how long is it gonna take you to beat the game? We're aiming for around 30 or maybe 40 hours of playtime. That is if you want to complete the main quest and also the majority of side quests. But it can easily go above that if you're a completionist or just want to see all the different endings. Alright, next question is Anthony Lim is asking approximate release date, price and available platforms. Right, so The Sinking City is coming to PC, Xbox One and PS4 and we will announce the release date and price when we are ready. At this point we just adding more content to the game, you know, refining our features, adding new quests and doing a lot of work in general. Right, so next question is Thomas Pierce is asking how did you balance yourself in adding your ideas slash concepts while skipping to the HP Lovecraft lore? Right, so you know what, it's actually not that difficult to incorporate that Lovecraftian lore because we have said that numerous times Lovecraft was really good at exploring these really intricate philosophical concepts like, you know, our place in the universe, fear of the unknown, fatalism and all that. But when it comes to details and descriptions, he was surprisingly vague, which actually works great for us because it gives us a lot of freedom to do things like the way we want to do. Also, keep in mind that uh, the Sinking City is actually not an official adaptation of the Lovecraftian works. Uh, it's rather an expansion, more like an expansion of his uh, universe by devoted fans of his novels. And you know what, guys? A few months ago we released a dev diary in which we talk about how The Sinking City and Lovecraft actually intertwine. So uh, if you haven't seen that, uh, I highly recommend that you give it a look. It will probably uh, answer your questions that you have about The Sinking City and Lovecraft. So I'll put the link in the description for you.